Hey everyone, so this is probably gonna be the last video I make on this um, this kit. Maybe, maybe not, I haven't decided. I may be doing another journal with the kit papers that I still have, but I wanted to show you um, kind of what I'm doing with the envelope journal. So this will probably be the last video for that. Um, I did wanna say I had uh, a little boo-boo <laughs> where I, um, was trimming up some things and I actually trimmed one of the envelopes off randomly. Um, I still don't realize, I still don't know how I did it. Um, but I had to use some of the yellow um, fabric that came with the kit and I've put some lace over it for the middle here, but I am thinking I may put, I may insert another pocket in right here. Um, I did go through and um, touched up the edges with um, Distress Ink to age them, make them less white. I still have some things like this that I need to glue down, but I have my um, my glue gun now plugged in and, and warm so I can do some of the things I was gonna do on um, some of those other videos now. And I'm thinking that I've actually used up all of the lace except for this piece. Um, so I may have to um, use this as like a tag pull. Um, the only real fabric besides this yellow piece that I have is this, um, this piece of fabric that came in the kit and I really liked the, um, the ruler fabric, but I'm thinking how am I gonna insert this pocket um, that I wanna make with out like to cover this yellow. I'm trying to figure this out. And it may be like super obvious to you at home <laughs> when you're watching this, like, oh, you should be doing this. Um, but I want this pocket to be a shallow pocket that you can tuck a card into um, that, that flips, um, but just kind of a half pocket. And um, I'm trying to figure out how I attach it to this spine short of sewing it in. Um, which I could do, I do have needles and everything. I just don't wanna have to do that. But, um, you know, Valerie included a lot of this thread, colored thread, so I could theoretically do it if I wanted to do that. Um, she even included needles in here. But what I'm thinking is I want to glue it in um, or glue in like a, um, maybe not even glue it in, but, but use it um, kind of like I did with the Flow Journal maybe use a, an elastic piece that goes around the outside of the journal that holds this in so that it could be removed. Um, I'm still unsure about that. So um, I also realized this pocket that I never did repair that pocket. Um, so uh, the last time you saw this page, it was a full pocket at the bottom and um, where I glued over this and snipped part of it off, I had to fix this little, um, belly band up here and I had to trim the tuck and um, I ended up just adding the um, the sewing um, tissue paper on top to kind of keep it from cracking anymore. And now I feel like it's a little bit, it's still pretty flimsy because it's just a piece of um, paper, but it's a little bit more fortified because it's a double piece of paper with that tissue paper on it. And now um, the card goes in like this. It slides in the belly band and just tucks into the corner here. And I mean, it should be easier than the other pocket was, but it fits really nicely down in the pocket. At least it did when I checked it last time. There we go. Um, so I still feel like I need to do more on this little, um, this little pull, this little card. Um, what I might do, I am definitely going to do a pull on it. Um, I may go ahead and do that on video right now. Um, I'm thinking maybe something like that. I was going to use my stapler, um, but I think since I have my hot glue in here, or would it be interesting to do the yellow on it? So I have this big piece and I have a little piece that I trimmed off. That's not the one. Here it is. Um, that's big enough to probably make a pool. So I'm not sure, because I like blue and yellow together. 
Um, maybe even I could do the lace on top of it. The lace on top of the yellow. I'm not sure. Sometimes less is more, you know? I don't want to overdo it. So I think I may do the yellow. And the yellow is a little bit stronger, too. But um, I think I'm going to hot glue this inside so that it's closed and it's not quite so flimsy. So I'm just kind of gluing it closed like taco shaped. Like that. And then I am just going to glue each side like that and make it a pull. Um, okay, we shall see if this works, if it looks okay. So I'm gonna start on one side here. I'm really kind of in the embellishment and ephemera stage, like trying to get everything decorated it's less about the construction now than it is about the details. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that for a second. Um, and I still feel like, you know, the outside of the card is not quite as pretty as I want it to be, so I feel like I need to add to it. I think I'm gonna layer some more things here. Um, and I'm definitely going to create a closure for the journal because now that the ribbon is in the middle, it's definitely a little bit more difficult to hold it closed. It wants to pop open. So I think I'm gonna do a, um, some sort of maybe button um, on both sides and then a string that holds them closed or an elastic that holds them closed. Um, I'm gonna have to think about that for a second though. But yeah, so that looks like that's gonna work and that's gonna be a strong pull. I do kind of want to do something with the outside of this tag. I still have this tag to fit in. I still have a few things here to fit in um, and maybe even add to. So let me see. I'm gonna put those kind of to the side here where they're not gonna get mixed in. And let me see what I have that I can add to this tag. I could add that thimble since it's blue and I did want to use the thimble. I love this thimble. Um, so that might actually be a good option. I think I'm going to tear this extra paper off and perhaps put it on maybe right there. I like that. And I think for now, I'm gonna glue it. I don't think it has to be um, that medium, at least not for this, this part of the tag, because I am layering on top now. So there's my thimble. I actually really love that that image of that thimble. I'm sorry, my chair's being weird. And then I feel like there needs to be something else up here. I've got scrap paper there, a little basket of sewing things. What kind of ephemera do we have in here? Um, So I talked to Valerie and she is doing a, um, she's actually doing a binder clip um, top journal with her kit. And I love the way she's done hers. So I may do one of those, uh, may not be for with this kit, but um, definitely in the near future, just because it really, really got me thinking like, oh, I love that, um, I'd love to do it. I do have these scissors and I do love these scissors and want to use them somewhere. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of play with them and see what that looks like. I don't know if that's right for that just yet. I feel like almost like I need to put more on the background. Let me 
um, this kind of goes with it in the sense that it's um, cross stitch letters and I think interesting. So I'll do that. I am fully aware that I am covering up some things that I've put on. I've learned with collage when you're putting paper on paper, sometimes you cover things up and that's okay. It's okay to have things covered up um, because other things become important when you do that. I like those little gloves, those are cute, but I don't think they're right for this necessarily. I don't know if that's the same style. And I have a lot of this leftover uh, pattern paper. Um, I do have this vintage sewing machine image, which is really pretty and I, I feel like it should go because it goes with uh, kind of the style of this journal. Um, I feel like it should go in here. And then I have this lady, um, her head is a little bit cut off, but that's okay. I have this lady at the sewing machine, but I almost feel like that's big enough. It could be a pocket of some sort. Some more little string, a little kind of like that on top of that yellow. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here, just in case you can't see, but it matches that yellow ribbon so well. Look how cute. I love it. Okay. And then scrap paper. I'm trying to put all my scrap paper in a pile. I do have things on some of the scrap paper that I could cut out. Um, this is that pocket that I'm thinking of making, so I'm gonna put it to the side. I don't wanna cut it up just yet. And I do have like capes, which I love and are very Victorian. Um, and I think it might be kind of cute to, to put one of those on, although this is really just kind of a sewing tag, isn't it? Um, okay, do I have stickers in here that might work? I think most of these stickers, while beautiful, are not quite the style, although there is stuff in here that she has included. The ocean, oh, that's right. Um, I have so many things that I need to do with that. And then some little um, pattern and collage papers I think I will keep for another project because those are those are kind of more what I'm doing with my mini collages. I still have this paper that has the measuring tape. That might actually be an interesting element. So let's try it. I hate to tear this paper, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I saved the bottom picture, it's not torn. Um, I've got this little measuring tape piece and I don't necessarily want the pink because this is a blue background. But let's see if I can minimize the amount of pink that is showing. I'm trying to be very careful not to rip this. I've got one chance. There we go. Okay. So this might be cute kind of going across. I actually love that. Is that where I want it? I think that that's where I want it. So I'm gonna glue it with this glue. I 
I've got stuff all over my hands. So much glue. So much ink. Okay, now I've got to glue these edges down. So that they're not popping up on me. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I feel like this has improved this tag a whole lot. I, I'm not necessarily super fond of the, um, the pink running through it, but I do like the pink and the yellow together. And then, of course, we've got the blue. But it's more um, interesting to look at for sure. And then... Actually, I like the scissors on there a little bit more now because they're not the only element. I am going to see what they look like inked up. And I tried to ink up that, um, that journal off camera because I know it's not necessarily fun to watch somebody ink a million times when they're doing a project. Um, a lot of times when I watch YouTube videos, most time, you know, these people will not be doing a whole project from start to finish. They'll be doing a spread or something like that. But doing a whole project start to finish can be a little daunting. And, and there are definitely parts where I'm thinking out loud and it's probably boring. Um, but yeah, that I think that blends a little bit more now. And I like the addition of the scissors. I'm sorry about this chair squeaking and um, popping. It's on its last limb and I need to get rid of it. If you have any leads on good office chairs that you have ordered, let me know. Okay, so I think that's gonna call that one finished. Um, that one is, is a lot cuter than when I started, I think, and it's definitely more um, along the theme. Um, of this journal. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck it in its spot, um, even though it's still drying. I don't want it to um, get lost out here. I kind of want to get an idea for how um, much it's going to cause this to be poofed out. Okay. So, yeah, it's starting to get fat. Okay, and then uh, I'm still not sure about this pocket. I don't know what to do, or should I do it double like that? Actually, it would be interesting because it would be like a quadruple pocket, but I don't really need that much. Um, <sighs> What to do what to do i feel like that's probably not the best idea because i'm very um unsure about it um i still have this paper and i loved this paper um and i haven't used any kind of um any of this in the journal yet so I'm wondering if I could trim the top and it'll fold open like a folder because that's how she initially folded these. But again, um, short of sewing it in, and I'm trying not to do that. Um, that's one more thing I need on my desk to make it happen. Um, but it might be the only solution. I just don't like that opening there um, because the ribbon is glued very crudely. It could be that maybe I just need more ribbon on top of this to finish it off. Um, and I might think on that. I do have this piece. Valerie used this um, in her other journal that she's working on as the cover. And I really like it because it's shiny and um, as a cover, it works really well, I think. Um, I don't know that it's gonna work in this journal though because of the colors, because of how bright it is. Um, I still have these pictures up here. And oh, I do have her. So I could just, I could just um, glue over this 
and, and call that done and maybe put a pocket on this side. Um, I did have a scrap here that I could just glue over and I think I may do that because it's the least obtrusive. So let's see what happens when I do that. The worst that could happen is that it looks just as bad as what is there right now. This is part of what we do, right? We experiment. So I am folding it in half, hoping that one side will glue to one and the other side will glue to the other. And we are going to try it. Um, I think I will not use the hot glue because it dries so fast. I think I will use my wet glue, my tacky glue. Um, this is quite literally my favorite glue. I, I feel like it has just the right uh, drying time for me for most things. Um, if you use a lot of it, it can take a while, but it's very secure which is why I love to use it so much. And um, if at some point this decides it wants to pop up, which it might do, because it's it's gonna take a while for this to dry and it's over fabric, um, it might be that I need to hot glue it. But we're gonna, we're gonna pretend that that's gonna work. Just trying to make sure everything is solid and flush. And it really doesn't look that bad now. Um, I mean, it's obviously a mistake. I can do something with it. I just keep telling myself I can do something with it. I can add on top. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. We're not gonna worry about that quite so much. I am gonna start loading some of this in. I did wanna put this little doll, uh, China doll dress form in here just because I love it and I wanna keep it. Um, and I wanted it to be safe and it fits really neatly. And I think I'm gonna put this tag in here as well. So there's actually a lot that'll fit in this little um, envelope fold. And then I can do the same with this one. That's ready to pull out. And then I had, where did I have this? I think I had this in one of these. I did. All right, and now we need to load um, something in this belly band. And I still have this fold out. And I have two pockets and another belly band here. Um, so I would like to have, ideally would have something for each, uh, each little pocket. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time because I already have 23 minutes on this video. And uh, I get to, I get to chatting. And I don't really have a lot of like cardstock. Most of this is paper. I think that's what's holding me up a little bit is um, trying to utilize, um, and I, I don't remember what I used to make that. That's cardstock. Maybe the real challenge for me is trying to use what I have in this kit because there's so many materials in this kit that it just feels um, like it, the part of the fun part of the challenge is not utilizing anything outside of the box. You know, I have a ton of paper. I could make a whole journal just out of the paper. Um, what to do? I still have a lot of ephemera here too. I think. I will utilize, I am gonna utilize just because I need a backing for some of this stuff. I have this, um, they're like tiny file folders for a, um, like an index file folder to make tags. I think I'm gonna do that because 
Um, I definitely need something. I'm gonna get my paper cutter. So that I cut this straight at the very least. I should probably check how wide the pockets are. Because I definitely want to make something for them. They're less than three inches, so if I made this two a two or three inch pocket, I'd probably be safe. Um, or not a pocket, but a let's do two and a half, and I can always cut it down. I literally fly by the seat of my pants. If you've not um, been able to tell, I do this. On the fly because that's part of the fun sometimes having a plan is exhausting and it you know when it doesn't work out and you have a plan that's like the worst um, and this is this is a little bit big but I like it because it's gonna take up room on my page so you can see it's gonna be a long tag but I think it'll be I think it'll be cool okay so I am not going to get out my tag cutter. Um, I know I used that on another video, but I'm just going to cut and then use my corner to cut the other corner. There we go. Okay, and that tag's a little bit janky, so I'm gonna do a little bit less slope there on this next one. I like to have like a, it just depends, but I like to have a wide um, top for the tag for whatever reason. Okay, and yeah, so that's gonna work. These will look a little different. So let's decorate these tags with some of this ephemera while that other page is drying. And I'm just gonna start putting things down. I think I will use my um, matte medium to do this. I'm sorry about my arm. You got a nice close up there <laughs> of my freckles, okay. And I'm just gonna start putting stuff down. I'm gonna use some of this um, pattern paper as a base, cause that's what I did with the journal card that I used just a few minutes ago. And I am gonna try to use up some of the scraps that I have here. It just seems to make a really good base um, for whatever reason. I guess because it's neutral. Okay. Make sure I get that down. And then I'm gonna try to use up some of this ephemera because there's so much cute stuff. Okay. And I'm terrible with tissue paper to rip it once it's wet. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to do that. But I do wanna get my edges down so that they're laying down. There we go. And some of this is as thin as tissue paper. I mean, it's very, oopsie, told you. I get a little too aggressive with my brush. There we go. 
All right, so I've got one that's a little bit askew and then one that's straight up and down. Let's find some things to add. Okay, so I did have this little, I think I may fussy cut some of it. I'm gonna try to find a way to put her on. Her head is cut off a little bit, so what I might do is put her towards the top of the tag. If one of these tags has a um, a strange top. And I'm doing a, a pretty poor job of fussy cutting. Again, I absolutely detest having to do it, um, but I like the look of it. I'm just lazy and impatient with some stuff, and so, you know, it is what it is, but I am gonna try to make it not quite so square here. There we go, okay. And does it make sense to put her at the top of the tag, especially if I think I'm going to um, put a rivet up there. I don't want to drive it through the middle of her head, but I could maybe like cut it off or maybe just cut off her head and make it just somebody sewing. I don't know what to do. I think I'll put her down at the bottom here. probably could have just glued this down and maybe I should have because it's a little bit thicker. This is like a cardstock that it's printed on. Um, but I don't want to play switching it up. Here we go. I'm just going to trim off the part that's overlapping. So I've got her down at the bottom. Now I gotta figure out what to do with her head. Um, so again, I think I'll fussy cut this or, you know, less fussy cut, more quickly cut. Kind of like I would a sticker. You know, sometimes stickers are not cut out that detailed. We'll hold on to that. I think I may put this down here at the bottom. The other side of this cross stitch paper. And like I've said before, I think on one of the videos for this journal, some of this paper is really brittle. These older, um, like newspaper or newsprint top pieces of paper, this is one of those that I just don't want to um, risk it getting more brittle. And this is kind of an interesting think I think I'm gonna do this and this may seem really weird but it almost feels like a collage to me and it is a collage but you know with collages the rules are a little different so her head becomes a measuring tape <laughs> and that may be weird but we're gonna just be layering some some things on here. Um, I still have this photo and I did wanna do something with it in the journal. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I do have these glove stickers. I don't know that those really go with the tags. 
Um, Hmm. Bottom line is some of this stuff is, is sewing theme, but not necessarily going with this journal. So some of it is gonna have to go in another journal. Um, I still like this little cross stitch and back stitch paper. I don't know if that really goes on that tag. Um, hats. Here is a sewing machine, but since it's on tissue paper, it's gonna kind of disappear. So I don't know if I wanna do that. It gets really hard, because now I'm getting down to where a lot of my ephemera is, is going, has been used now. And I am kind of trying to use the stuff I haven't used yet. And not all of it is going to go with this design. So, it may be that this, these two tags, is the end. Some, this is some interesting tissue paper, very old tissue paper, it feels like. Okay, maybe one of these capes. I kind of like the cape here. And this is one that feels a little brittle. So again, I'm probably going to have to seal it with the matte medium. Hmm. I wish that paper was a little bit lighter. Because right now it is the, the same color as the background. Oh, I forgot I had this. This might be kind of interesting. Actually, really like this right here. And again, you know, you're not supposed to be precious about this, but sometimes when you're working with limited materials, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, mess up. This has definitely been a challenge and in the perfectionism department. Okay, so I like that as well. I think I'm going to put some ribbit, uh, rivets, <laughs> some rivets in the top and then do um, some, maybe some lace. I might have to pull that from another um, source since I only have this and stirring left, basically, these two pieces. Um, I don't even know if I could tie them, but I might be able to use that. Um, We'll see. But yeah, okay, so um, those can go in those two pockets. And then I do not know, I'll let those dry for a minute, about the two belly bands. I may just tuck some of these pictures. Um, it may be a thing where I use like the scraps. Um, this was a scrap. It, it wasn't really, I mean, I could make a tag out of it, I guess. But I could just put her or something on the... Um, the card and slide it in. Um, it looks like this might be a little too big for the belly band. It probably needs to go this way. Um, and then this belly band, this is actually a perfect size for this belly band, so I may use that, um, may put some things on this. Um, and then I, I'll probably make a fastener for the outside of the journal. And then I'll call this journal done for now. Um, but let's let's do this really quickly. And again, I don't wanna put anything that's like, um, you know, 
that doesn't go along with the style. So, so sorry. So these pictures of um, the the dresses from the 60s and stuff, they're super cute and I wanna use them, but I can't use them with this particular one. What I might do is I might, um, I might just make this kind of more uh, abstract, kind of like I've been doing with these, and um, and just put down paper. So like this. Let's do. I'm gonna do the bottom half of this. This one is really brittle, really old, so I've gotta be very careful here. This is how I do it when I'm trying to cover the whole thing. I do half and then half. Okay, and then I could probably just use my hands here. You can see how brittle it is. It's breaking before I even get to it. I can't tear it in a straight line. Um, but I like that. I think I'll use my scissors to trim. And I could always put, kind of like I did on the other journal card, some lined paper on the back so that you can journal on it. Um, I'm definitely going to add to the front of this. But so far, that looks kind of cool. I like that a lot. Um, now I want to pick something that's not quite the same. I actually like the idea of putting this um, sewing machine on it. So I'll put that to the side. Do I have other things here? I still have some of the cross stitch. I just really like, for whatever reason, I really like this cross stitch, uh, these cross stitch letters. Hmm. I don't know that that's what I want to do. I do have some crochet pictures here that I could use. Okay. Let's see. Lots of scraps here. Lots and lots. What do we think? I don't know how I feel about it. Huh. Okay. I'm going to hold that on the side here. I'm going to look and see if I have other things. This kind of appeals to me. This little woman in the hat. She's not Victorian. Maybe I should do these two things. Let's try the tissue paper. I'm just going to go for it because... I am having a hard time making up my mind. Yeah, I like that. That was the right instinct. Sometimes you just gotta make the decision. Just jump and look later. Okay, 
So I like that it's kind of still showing what's underneath, um, but that you see that that um, sewing machine there. And I don't remember, I think these were all scraps. I do still have this little shirt. He could go somewhere. Um, do I want the cape on there? Why not? Let's do it. Let's just do it. I can't be too precious with these things. Okay. So I've got my my little card here. I can slide that in. And I do have this little tuck right here. Um, I still don't know what I'll put in there, but I could just put some ephemera for now. And I think that's what I'll do. I do have this tuck too. I might put this little dress in, that sort of thing, just to keep my stuff. Um, this is not a deep tuck, is it? It's not, okay. So like that. And then, um, yeah, so this will go in this little thing right here, this little belly band, my two pockets for my two tags. And then this belly band, I might put um, some of my other ephemera that's short. Um, I did glue the bottoms so that I could fit something in. Um, and it's really only this part. So it's, um, I don't know if you can see right there. That's the, uh, that's the length that I have. So that little Mary Englebright picture would be cute there. Um, and then I might be able to put something there later, but yeah. Okay. So that kind of, and I'll post a picture once I'll draw. Um, and when I have everything in there, I might do a walkthrough clip, um, a really short one that you can look at. But that pretty much summarizes what I did with my kit here. Um, I am going to probably make something else out of this kit, but I wanted to try to finish this journal first. Um, I feel like I got a lot of use out of it for sure. I definitely feel like um, it was a challenge though because I was having to work within a theme and when you're having to work within a theme, um, sometimes those things don't necessarily line up the way you want them to. Uh, so if I discover more sewing themed stuff, I can always tuck them into this little journal. But um, let me know what you think. Um, I know there were a lot of videos. I did not anticipate this being as long um, of a series as it ended up being, but um, I feel like I just kept getting ideas and you know, you if you followed me at all this far, you've seen that I do tend to get long-winded, um, not just long-winded, but um, I tend to like jump on ideas. So uh, let me know what you think about this finished journal. Let me know what you think of, I could add to it to, um, to keep with the theme. I know there were some things I wanted to do to some of the pockets that I haven't done yet, but um, you can see this dried, so it kind of covered that ribbon. Um, so there's more that I want to do to it, but I feel like for all intents and purposes for this series, um, I've probably showed you all that you want to see of this journal. So um, let me know what your ideas are, what you think, what I can fix, what I can um, change that um, might need to be changed or uh, what do you think I can do to add to it? And um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As always, happy crafting.